Hi everyone! Welcome back to Science4 Fun Academy. Today, I'm excited to share some groundbreaking news from the University of Melbourne and several pediatric hospitals. They've developed a novel proteomics-based blood test that could revolutionize the way we diagnose rare diseases in infants. Now, why is this so important? Well, rare diseases affect nearly 1 in 20 infants worldwide. Early diagnosis often means the difference between effective intervention and irreversible harm. Traditionally, diagnosing these conditions has been a prolonged invasive process and sometimes even inconclusive. So how does this new test work? Instead of focusing solely on genetic sequencing, this approach measures the abundance of specific proteins in white blood cells, particularly peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs. Using just a small blood sample, typically from a heel prick or venous drawer, the test examines the proteins expressed in immune cells like monocytes and lymphocytes. Mass spectrometry and bioinformatics come into play here, creating a functional readout of the baby's metabolic and immunologic profile. But here's the magic part. These protein signatures are compared to a growing library of reference profiles from both healthy and diseased infants. Machine learning algorithms then flag any significant deviations, pointing clinicians toward the most likely underlying condition. This innovation is transformative. In many cases, it eliminates the need for muscle biopsies or long-weight genetic panels. What once took weeks, or even months, can now be accomplished in just 72 hours. Preliminary data is incredibly promising, showing diagnostic yield increases from 30% to nearly 70% in complex cases. That's a leap forward in both speed and precision. Early diagnosis means early treatment. Whether it's enzyme replacement therapy, dietary interventions or gene-targeted care, time is critical. And this test, it gives us time. Of course, like all new technologies, integrating this into practice will require training, infrastructure and ethical oversight. The test is currently being piloted in several NICUs, with wider adoption anticipated soon. Remember, this content is for educational purposes only and does not constitute medical advice. Clinicians should always consult appropriate guidelines and specialists when implementing new diagnostic tools. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and follow for more topics and lectures by visiting our playlists and weekly podcast. See you next time.